a lot of times when I talk to older people, they're surprised that I crochet. They, I get the, of course, well, don't old cat ladies crochet? I'm like, well, yeah, they do. But, you know, young people can crochet as well. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, you create dolls. That's kind of cute. And I find once I actually show them the doll and they realize I don't just create a basic doll. I create like, I guess you could call them yarn action figures, you know. I started crocheting. My grandma taught me actually when I was six or seven and I just kind of went from there something to do with my grandma you know you're a kid and you're hanging out at your grandma's house not much to do and I saw her making little sweaters and blankets I was like I could do that I think the motivation is probably to make it the best I can with the detailing and all that I try to pick a character and try to get every single detail I possibly can into that doll just to make sure that it truly is the character it's supposed to be. I found a book because when I started crocheting I was just making little blankets and things like that and there is a book called Super Scary Crochet and they had the cutest little dolls and so I made these dolls and I was like I didn't realize you could actually crochet shapes into these dolls and I was like I, I could do that so I started working with different stitches and playing around with my own patterns and um, yeah I just realized you could build these really cool creatures with all these shapes with nothing but yarn and a hook I judge my work like crazy. There's times when I just look at the doll, I'm like, it's not right. And I just pick at it and pick at it until it's perfect in my eyes. And when I crochet, I do tend to go into Chelsea land, as you would call it. And I tend not to socialize too much. And I just sit down and do my work and I could crochet for hours. But I find at my real job, it just takes me back to reality I have to socialize with people and talk with people and you know get to know what people are like I suppose usually an average doll just the base of the doll would take about three or four hours and then adding the detailing like the hair and any other details that would need to go on there usually take another couple hours so I'm going to say like six to eight hours a doll yeah sometimes ten if there's a lot of detail but usually six to eight I think the most I made in a month was 2025 that was a large order for one client who was having a family reunion and she wanted her whole family crocheted into a doll form um, that was actually really fun I learned a lot about detailing and different people facial expressions um, and then some months I only have one or two. Yeah, and I like those months because then I can just pick on things for myself and I'm selfish like that sometimes, but. I started selling them online because I just, I had too many. They were just taking over my house, just hanging out there creeping out my husband so I'm like I'm just gonna sell these see what I can do you know throw it out there I don't think they really want a crocheted doll because it's crocheted but I think people enjoy them because it's one of a kind you can't just go out and purchase one of these things they're not mass made each one is individually created for that person in the style that that person wants which is why when somebody places an order I want to make sure I get all the information I possibly can to make it as personal for that person as I can
I'm always showing pictures or handing out business cards and just being like, yeah, you know, shoot me up. I'll do a custom order and it's great. Well, I think every art form, there's definitely the person who does the art. They put their heart and soul into these projects that they make, whether it's painting or crocheting or drawing or anything like that. I mean, a good artist will put everything they got into that piece. Um, you know, just stress out or be up for hours of the night or just there's times I just pop out of bed and I'm like, oh, yeah, I should, you know, make it that way. And you got to do it right then and right there. Otherwise, you just, you know, forget about it the next day or something. I think um, the goal in the end would just be to just have people want these crocheted versions of themselves. I find it's something that you can't just go and buy on a shelf. Um, it would be really cool, which is why I've started making celebrities and sending out celebrities. And I did one for Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer. And once he received his, I just got a whole bunch more followers and people who wanted dolls of themselves. And it would be nice to have my business just grow like that. And I could focus solely on crocheting and doing art and things that I enjoy. Quit the day job and do some crafting. You got to do what you love in life. You really do. Um, if you don't, you just get sad or depressed and you may not even know it, but you just don't become you. And I think a lot of people need to go back to who they truly are inside. And if you love, you know, painting or if you love playing sports or if you love, you know, cooking, you have to make time in your life to do what you love. You can't just, you know, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Like you got to do in the end what makes you happy. <laughs> 